Well, the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league. And it's live. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the city of Birmingham, to the football ground of Aston Villa, Villa Park. And Alan Smith, who knows these parts of the world very well indeed, is uh, smiling away, delighted to be here. Well, confirmation, as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they, that the league title has been decided. The match will be played. The big event of the day, Alan's going to be the presentation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've seen so many performances that got them to the top of the table. We might not quite see the intensity of those previous displays, but I think you can forgive them for that. team for this game. Richie Gallant replaces Neil Taylor who's suspended and they just go with the one striker up front. Thank you Villa Park. They've shuffled their track today Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Phil Jones starts with Eric Bailly at the back. Andreas Pereira plays with Jesse Lingard out wide. Marcus Rashford is the main man up front. Well, a lot of anticipation about this game. Aston Villa have got it going in the first half. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Steered through. Just the keeper to beat. Oh, it's poor defending. And it's cost them dearly again. Well, it's certainly their Achilles heel. The manager turns away in disgust. They have been trying to put this right in training. But out on the pitch, well, they are the most porous defence that you could ever imagine. Really soft. And they've conceded another soft goal. And they trail again. Manchester United in front, as predicted, really. An update from the Etihad, from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. Five minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Conor Hurihan. Manchester United with the ball again. Eric Bailly is Jesse Lingard. Here's Andreas Pereira. And uh, Herrera. Mbappe. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Looking for teammates in the middle. Cleared away by the defender. Makes the challenge here. We've given it straight to the opposition. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Morata. An angle pass between fullback and centre back gave him the chance, and he buried it. 14 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. A lot of defenders between them. And a Herrera! It's a good place to win the ball here. That was a puff out your cheeks moment, and phew, got away with it. It's Jesse Lingard. That's an excellent cross. Goal, and it's the same old story. Well, the whole team defends, and they don't defend very well. You can't really point the finger at any of them, but as a unit, they're far too easy to score against, and they are now two goals behind and looking down the barrel of yet another defeat. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Conor Hurihan. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Saw the pass coming and got there first. It's Jesse Lingard. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. That's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Three. What 
we get to see. Of course, the assistants don't. Whether that will change down the years, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that uh, their organisation caught him off. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. McGinn. Gives it away. Jones. It's Pereira. And uh, Herrera. He's got support here. Young. Made the tackle. James Chester. There's something happening at Chelsea that we need to know about. Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Eden Hazard. The defence were at sixes and sevens as they tried to clear and allowed him to run in and play a simple shot past the keeper. 37 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. It's Jesse Lingard. Now Marcus Rashford. again they tried to keep it but they haven't been able to do that it's Jesse Lingard it's Pereira ah oh, that's a shame he would have been in the clear but he's overhit the pass the two more minutes to play of added time of two minutes loses possession looking for a through ball he's in Rashford He took it with great aplomb. I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Well, this is Manchester United at their sparkling best. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle, and it's 3-0 here at half-time. Really was a very one-sided first half, and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now. And now the shot! Oh, they've got a corner out of that, a bit lucky, it was deflected. He's put in the corner. Oh, that's good defending. Tried his luck! And the goalkeeper reached for it, but he didn't have to reach at full stretch. Made a bit of a meal of it there. Well, they're getting set. For the corner, played away, well away from goal. Young, and shoots! Goalkeeper can only parry it out. He's got it away. Read the play well. Being closed down. Now Linga. Mbappe. Keeper's ball. Goal news from Brighton. It's a second goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 57 minutes played. Crafted in behind the defenders. Shots on here. And it's a goal. They've scored one. Well, he gets the credit. And the credit was being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I think the easiest goal he will score this entire season. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is Albert now for scoreline. Rashford. Albert There's something Adola. happening at Chelsea that we need to know about. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. Rashford. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. And there it is for Manchester United. He's done.
doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally a moment or two ago. Chelsea did score. The score is now 3-0. Armstrong. Opening them up with a through pass. Trying to find a way. Lingard. Getting set at the corner. He's put in the corner. Reaching for it a little bit with the header. And that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge and Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Leeds United. 69 minutes played. 3-1. Thanks, Alan. Strong, fair challenge, balls out for a throw, though. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Opportunity in a wider area. To finish it off! Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. And here we're going to have a substitution. Seems as though it's for tactical reasons. Intercepted well. He might be through. And shoots! Goal! Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Well, it is the way the modern game is played, isn't it? This kind of breakaway. And they couldn't live with him. Well, if you've got pace, as this side have, you're always going to be a threat on the counter. It's a wonderful finish. Number two, Richie Dillon. Coming onto the pitch. I don't think we expected this. Such yeah, a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Nothing so far in this game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead by. Yeah, it's not always. Now the shot! Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just... The shot's on! Here's a chance! Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. They made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. And five minutes remaining. Acosta. Well, they can see out time like this. Unless the opposition become a bit more dynamic and they win the match. Well, they talk about football being a passing game. And you can keep it short, you can go long, you can be direct, you can keep possession. But they seem to have got all the passing arts here. And they've really Referee forced the opposition to chase the ball. And they'll be hoping that that means they tire out towards the end of this game. Here's Andreas Pereira. And there's the interception. Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Just one minute left on the clock. And there's the final whistle, and it's a win here for Manchester United. Well, that's it for this game.
undoubtedly he was the star man today so often we think of his creative abilities that knack of picking out a pass but today it was all about his finishing really good couple of goals in this team win